Welcome to the video on branding strategy. In this video, we will talk about what brand strategy is, how to fully understand brand strategy, brand recognition, and the branding pyramid. Brand strategy is an extension and manifestation of the goals you set and periodically adapt for your publishing organization. Your organization's brand is the reason you exist. It is the value you add to your stakeholders and customers. In order to fully understand brand strategy, you should consider context by assessing the following factors. First is environment. What are the political, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental influences that affect the business and brand? Next, think about the business aspect. What does the brand stand for and what does it mean? What associations, ideas, emotions, and benefits do people associate with it? What makes it unique? In addition, you should consider your customers. For library publishing organizations, these may or may not be paying customers, so you should also remember customers that interact with your organization, use your services, and benefit from your publications. Finally, think about your competitors. Consider the replacements or substitutes for your products or services. Where can your customers, stakeholders, and audience go if they are not interacting with your organization? Competitors are not only those who are hoping to earn your customers' money, but also those who are capturing your customers' and stakeholders' attention. Brand recognition is an important aspect of brand strategy. Begin by thinking about the question, how will people recognize your brand? Consider the following elements of brand theory. First is brand expression, which covers your visual and verbal identity. This includes logos, color palettes, names, and titles. For example, Simon Fraser University has a bright red logo, while UBC has chosen to go for a dark blue design. Next is your brand idea or internal motto. In short, how you will achieve your vision. In addition, consider your brand values. What are the behaviors and characteristics that will help shape your success? Finally, consider your brand image. This is your reputation, which is influenced both by your actions and external factors. Using the branding pyramid, we can think of branding in terms of features, attributes, and benefits associated with your organization or its products and services. Beginning with features and attributes, what are the features of this initiative? Which hold the most value for stakeholders? Next, consider the functional benefits. What are some of the tangible benefits potential stakeholders may expect from this initiative? In addition, what are the emotional benefits? What emotional response will this initiative have with your stakeholders? How will it make stakeholder groups feel? The brand persona and brand idea are built on these features and attributes. In this video on branding strategy, we've discussed what brand strategy is, how to fully understand brand strategy, brand recognition, and the branding pyramid. Thanks for watching.